as well as bringing that visualization, converting those uh, insight into action is the key feature that Cognos Workspace provides to the users. Moving to next, uh, one of the significant improvement that uh, Cognos Workspace includes is you can integrate your active reports into Cognos Workspace. So uh, if you are aware about Cognos Active Report, Active Reports are uh, offline uh, dashboard capability which is offered by Cognos where you can uh, create the interactivity based dashboards and then you can consume those dashboard in your browser, you can consume the dashboard on your iPad based on the uh, particular HTML based file and then that file can be used for the uh, data analysis and then that can be shared uh, as email. So uh, with Cognos 10.2, you can actually integrate your active reports onto your dashboard. So all your historical data will basically come as a part of active report, which will get refreshed after a particular interval. So all historical data will uh, come as a uh, active report, as well as all your fluid data, which is have what is happening currently, that will come as a live report on the workspace. And you can able to set the connection between your uh, workspace data with the active report data. So you can actually uh, make variables talk to each other so that you can pass the context from your widget to active report. So people who are aware about active report, they might be aware about the techniques like active report work on a variable. So you can actually pass a variable value to active report from your uh, Cognos workspace widget. So it basically uh, gives uh, fluid data as well as historical reporting on a single screen for the users. So uh, different capabilities are available when we integrate active report with the uh, Cognos workspace. So Cognos workspace basically supports Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome and Safari, whereas uh, active report supports uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox. So active report integration will be restricted to uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox. So when we think of uh, integrating active report, we need to uh, consider that we need to have the uh, Firefox and uh, IE as a uh, delivery mechanism for the users for integrating active report. For all other dashboards and uh, requirements, we can always use Chrome and Safari for the uh, analysis purpose. Then, uh, as I mentioned, we can implement cross-report communication. Uh, we can pass the context from uh, workspace or for a, from a particular report uh, widget to Cognos workspace, Cognos, to uh, active report. Only requirement is the parameter name that we pass from a, a workspace to active report. Parameter name should match so that active report will identify that this is the external parameter which is coming from the workspace to uh, active report. As well as active report variables need to be public so that they can listen the uh, events that are being happening with the workspace event. So you can actually uh, communicate like drill down or uh, drill up kind of activity with the, uh, you can sync it with the workspace event. As well as it allows us to, uh, we need to consider the stale persistence. So active report variable stale will be saved when workspace is saved. So whenever you want to uh, save a particular view of a dashboard, so you can actually uh, save the view of an active report also. So it's not like uh, as active reports are the uh, static content, so whenever we save the dashboard, it will get refreshed to the original content. You can actually save the state of that active report so that we can, uh, particularly when we drag that active report to a workspace, it will basically uh, interact with that context and save the state along with the dashboard. So it basically allows users to create more interactive content, not just from the uh, reports which are already authored. They can uh, put some data into uh, active report which gives uh, better interactivity and then uh, they can combine it with the uh, existing traditional 